wait, there's more. Welcome. I'm Akram Tagaby Berth, and you're watching Akram's Ideas of Bringing Creative and Crazy Ideas to Life. And now, the conclusion of the epic, epic, epic. To see more episodes like this, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Fabric haul. So one battery has died, and we've changed out batteries, so that's how long this is taking. Uh, just to give you a sense of framage, and uh, I'm going to try to wheel this down as much as possible so it doesn't take a lifetime. Alright, some more cotton, two yards of this beautiful cotton with this lovely print going down it. Actually, this is the way, yeah, this is, the print goes horizontally down, but you can play with it, so it could be... Uh, a couple of different things. I don't know. Lovely print. It's another spring print. This is amazing fabric. This is some jersey here. It is in a tubular form and it is yeah it is sort of a it's a pink but it's got some um, texture to it like as you stretch it you can kind of see little holes through it it's really, really cute. I think it would be amazing as either oh, a variety of things. I think I, it, would, it would make a good gable top. It would make a good um, cocoa top um, with the slash neck as opposed to a clown neck. I could do cowl neck and kind of have a drape to it. Make a good toaster sweater. So I haven't decided which one to go with on this one. Oh, I'm thinking the toaster sweater now. Mm, I don't know. But love that color pink. That's so pretty. And it's it's a lightweight fabric and I really like that. Alright, so I got this sea sucker, which now that I'm looking at, I'm thinking, you know what, I made a dress that is the same type of fabric, only not sea sucker, but same cottony pink stripes. Um, so it's pink stripes and sea sucker, perfect for like a spring dress or something. I uh, how much is here? It's probably at least two yards. So I don't know what I want to make yet, but I am drawn to the pinks as we all know. And speaking of pinks, I have some, what is this? This is a very soft crepe, very soft crepe, and it is a pink with the beautiful uh, flowers and butterflies on it, and it's pink and this says it's a Cranston print, and there's not a whole lot here, so it has to be a blouse, but I'm not sure what blouse as of yet. I like to do those drapey blouses with the cowl necks. I've got a couple of different patterns for that, so if, again, you have a recommendation, I'd love to hear in the comments below. Um, just some lovely cotton. It is two yards, or almost two yards, 42 inches. And it looks like, for whatever reason, the ends of it have been pre-surged. Uh, but this is just a magenta with a striping on it. If you can see that. This one is really nice. Um, no immediate plans. Oh, but a button-down shirt might look nice and then, um, like yellow, yellow buttons to pop the yellow off of that. So I've got two bundles of this same fabric here. And this is a cotton. A nice weighted cotton. It's a little see-through. Um, but it's got this lovely, um, sort of vintage rose on it. So vintage rose with blues and purples. And I'm thinking some sort of vintage shirt dress because I love that style. Um, so it could be a variety of things. could be my favorite one which is the sew over vintage shirt dress. 
uh, but this is definitely on my list. Um, but not anytime soon because the colors are more spring-like, so the, that's definitely going to be a spring make. So this is a canvas and I bought this specifically um, for my bags. So this would be a good lining interior for bags. I got some, this uh, fabric, it, it's kind of like a whitewash khaki looking fabric here. And this is a cotton, there's like three or four yards of it. But I thought a skirt, pants, variety of things. I think the khaki color works really good because it falls into the brown tones of autumn, but then it's a light shade that it still works when you get into spring. Alright, so this is another heavyweight fabric. Why is it, why does it feel funky on the inside? It feels, it feels like vinyl on the inside. Maybe it won't feel like that when I wash it. Ugh, it does, it feels sticky on the inside like a vinyl. Um, but it is fabric, it's not a tablecloth. It does have a tablecloth look. And this is definitely... Maybe that is the right size. I don't know. The, this side doesn't feel sticky like this side does. And it feels sticky like, like a vinyl sticking to itself. So it may have a vinyl lining on it. But the heavy weightness of this would make good bag material. Uh, so I don't know exactly what to do with that. I'll have to wash it and see what it feels like after washing. This fabric was slightly more expensive than I usually get. It's three yards for eight bucks, which is more than I like to spend. But it is a jersey and it does have this beautiful print. So I just love this print so much. I was like, I have to get it. So it's black with all these beautiful colors on it. Isn't that beautiful? Um, there's three yards here, so I could make a dress. I could make something like the Moneta. Um, but I'm wondering if I shouldn't use the majority of this to make a top, because then I would get a heck of a lot more wear out of it. I could wear it with jeans. I could wear it with uh, slacks. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to make a top out of this. So this is just some nice um, chambray type fabric. It's a light blue. Really nice for um, culottes. I made those culottes this summer that were out of a very similar fabric and I really like those. So just something lightweight and airy. Maybe even a nice um, spring summer skirt would be nice out of that. That's a blue. Let me put this is another denim canvas and it's a huntery green color. Um, again, that would make a really nice blazer, make a really nice skirt. This is a, a lovely fabric that has a little bit of a tropical feel to it. It, it, at first I thought it was like camo and I was like, eh, because it's got those camo colors, but if you look carefully, it's actually um, like tropical flowers with this really interesting butterfly on it. Uh, so this might be a nice fabric to use um, for a play suit. There's not a whole lot there, so maybe like a play suit with a little bralette top. This is a nice weighted cotton. It's just red, nothing fancy. There's a good amount here, like three yards or so. And um, again, could be a variety of things. Like I said, I have a bunch of dungarees planned, so maybe something like that. This is a Beth Ann Busky for Dave, Dave, David Textiles fabric print. It's got, it's orange with these brown and golden spirals. I was thinking a button down top again. This one is another nice fabric. This one, again, I don't know what you call it when they have sort of this waxy, you know, you hear that crumpling sound, that waxy feel to it. Um, typically they don't always stay like that when you wash them, so I don't know what that's about. Um, but this is a beautiful black with this beautiful print on it. Oh, that's uh, amazing, amazing. And I think for a print this size and, and just, I just really like the look of this. 
I think a shift dress for this would be really, really nice. But I, I'm hoping, I probably have enough for a shift dress. So that's what that's going to be. Um, again, I don't know when. Oh, another red cotton um, for, for a variety of different things. But uh, shirt dresses, contrast. I have a lot of fabric that's red that always often needs some contrasting bits or something. And so red is always a good fabric to have. This uh, fabric here, I saw it and I thought it was adorable and there's not a whole lot here but I mainly got it for an apron because it's got these cute little chicks on it along with fruit baskets and strawberries and it's just, I like the colors, it's kind of 65 colors. Anyways, I thought that would make a really cute apron. Um, so there's that. I mentioned earlier about getting colors um, to do some button-down shirts for my husband, so I got some more. I've got this dark teal here that I think would be really nice as well. Now, now we're going to get into the adventure part of this um, haul. So at Rangeline Antiques, there was a new booth vendor who was selling fabric, and she was selling fabric in these bags, and in the bags, she was selling each bag about $5, a few of them were $6. But in the bags, there are some fabric you can tell, like here, this blue, I could tell there's about three yards of it, but there's a whole bunch of other fabric in here. And I don't know, I can't open up the bag to see exactly what all is in there, but I know for a fact that there's at least one piece of fabric that is about two to three yards and then more fabric in top of that. So we're going to open up these two big boxes of all these five dollar fabric bags and, and find out what's in them because I don't know what's all in them. I can only see the um, what's on the outside layers. I can't see what's on the inside layers. So, inside this bag here is about one yard of this star fabric. Isn't that pretty? It's a cotton. It's got that glitter threading to it. I'm not always so fond of that glitter threading. Sometimes it's itchy to me, or maybe it's psychological. Alright, so this also has, I'm going to say there's two yards of this fabric here. It's kind of a paisley print. Kind of nice. It looked good with a denim skirt. Okay, so this one I could tell from the edge. This fabric is a good two to three yards and it's got this sort of, kind of feels like a starry night. It's got this sort of swooshy snow, oh it's snowflakes. So that would be a fun winter Christmas outfit. Wouldn't that be cute? Then, oh, there's there's like a remnant of um, red canvas. Great for purses. Ooh, and in the middle there were some patterns. So, um, there is a pattern for this suit um, set. And then there was also a pattern for a children's pattern here. So, um, I'm not sure about the patterns, but it's always a nice find to get something extra. And that's, these bags are like Christmas presents. They're like, what am I going to get in the bag? I mean, I know kind of what I'm getting in the bag because you can kind of see, but you don't know exactly what's getting in the bag. So this bag came with the pattern for the great pumpkin quilt. And I'm not a quilter, but this quilt Look at it. Isn't that like the cutest thing? I just thought that was adorable. It makes me want to quilt. But I don't see that happening. But that's a cute quilt. Um, <laughs> so I've got, ooh, some bright canary yellow. Um, there is a remnant and then there's about maybe a yard and a little bit. So put me together, there's probably two yards of this yellow cotton. Um, ooh, interesting. This is one of those fabrics really stiff. I something tells me this will this will um 
it almost feels like a waxy fabric but something tells me it will definitely soften up after being washed but this is a um, sort of a black ch and white check could be more of a navy there's like a little hint of a blue in there um, but that's an interesting color there is also a remnant of this rosy dusty rose pink color fabric now this being just a remnant like this, this would make great contrasting. So like a collar piece or the inside facing piece or pockets. Anything that you want to add a little pop of color to, that would be really good for. So next bag. These are all in these bags. I know. I'm like, why do I do this? Why do I get so much? So I have some white lace really pretty. I'm not sure what to do with the lace. I've, I've gotten some ideas of trying to do some lace stuff here recently. So it looks like this bag may be a bunch of pre-cut squares. Okay, so there's this and I knew that this is probably good yard. Pretty floral here, this pretty florally, this purple fabric. And then I've got a bunch of remnants of these, um, they're all cut like, like little skirts in some ways. I don't know what, the, I can only imagine that these were meant for, um, quilting bags. Um, I'm not sure about these. They're, oh, some of them are slightly bigger pieces. Again, they're kind of remnants of fabric. Not all bags are spectacular but some are better than others it's the staples you really gotta watch out for oh, gosh all this dust oh, this stuff has to be washed it feels like it's being in somebody's musky garage or ass. Oh, all right here we go Ooh. Ooh, this one actually says the stuff on it here it says Three yards, 60 inch wide wool poly. This is not three yards, so somebody has cut it. But not cut it from the tag point of perspective. I don't know, that was weird. Um, so this is a wool. I don't know, for whatever reason this reminds me of a scarf, so it might make a nice scarf set. Ooh, and maybe got a hat pattern somewhere. It might make a nice little bucket hat or what's the other kind of hat I'm thinking of? Beret type hat? Maybe a little scarflet? That's what it looks like. So here's some cotton. This is some yellow with some speckles in it. Kind of looks like a broken desert sand or droughted sand. Looks like there's a yard of that there. This is also like a yard of fabric. I feel like I have some of this fabric. This is uh, just an ivory with a white flower. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see the flowers on that. Um, but I feel like I have some of that somewhere. So a couple of other little scraps. But what I really wanted this for, because I can see it from the outside, is a good three yards of this um, green leaf fabric. So yes, there is a good, uh, there's a cobweb on it, uh, three yards of this. So that will definitely make a nice blouse or dress or something. Okay, so I got some red check. Um, there's not too much of this here. Maybe, maybe half a yard. Don't know. Maybe an apron. There's a good amount of this. This is another denim -y canvas fabric, at least a yard, if not a little bit more. Make a nice uh, mini skirt of some kind, maybe. Oh, and a good amount of this maroon color fabric. So I have about two yards of this maroon fabric. This would be another good one to make a uh, shirt for my husband. Um, because he likes those darker reds. He doesn't look good in bright red. But the darker reds look good. Alright. 
so I have a remnant of some sunflowers. That's kind of cute. But, ooh, ooh, there's a lot of this. The Night Before Christmas Perry Wade Manwood Studios. It's soft. I'm going to say there's almost four yards of this snowflake fabric here. That is really nice. Ooh. And, what? Some of this mesh. It's like, I don't know, it's like a linen. It's very thin. But if it's double doubled up on itself, it's it's not wool. I don't think it's wool. It doesn't itch like wool. Um, it would make a really nice skirt if it's double layered like this, but... Ooh, I just had an idea. Mm, I don't know if I have enough. But, that would make a really nice skirt, maybe. Alright, so this one also came with another quilt pattern. That's a nice quilt. But again, I just don't have the patience for quilts. I... <sighs> They take so much time, and in that amount of time, I could have made a dress or something. So, in this bag, I got some more denim. Ooh, it's a soft denim. This one does not have stretch. This one, I can tell you right now, does not have any stretch. But it would be good for a skirt or maybe even a tote bag. Um, this is some red linen. And how thin is this? Actually, this is this is a good red linen. It's not too thin. So this could make a really nice skirt. Maybe some of those dungarees I keep thinking about. But, gosh, at least three, oh no, this is more than that. Four yards, maybe another one and a half, two yards of this cotton that's a check lovely colors too and it's it's pretty soft I like that it's soft you know what this might make a really nice button down shirt I could make a button down shirt for my husband with this too I think he'd like that um so yeah this is an interesting little remnant it's a dark blue I don't know what these little symbols are are they like I think they're crests like shields, castle crests, things like that. What do you call them? Family crests or something? Anyways, they're in blues and purples. Ooh! This is an interesting fabric. This is a um, charcoal -y fabric. It's a linen-y fabric. It's really soft. There's not a lot here, though. I don't know what to do with it. There's not much there. Maybe a nice little dress for Lena. Maybe a tote bag. We're, we're down to our final box here. So we're, we're getting closer. Alright. So first up we have dun, 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 some big squares of this thread fabric. Isn't that pretty? They're not very big pieces, but I'm thinking a tote bag or a purse or um, a little sewing project bag or something like that. I think that'd be cute. I also have some of this blue. It's just a remnant, so this would be good for pocket stuff. And then I have this linen. Almost looks like a tablecloth. It may be a tablecloth. But, I can foresee it being something else. I can foresee it being another one of those dungaree dresses I keep talking about. Um, if I have enough. Actually, you know what? It is a circle tablecloth, so I might just make a circle skirt. I might just put a hole in the top of it and make myself a circle skirt out of that. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? A little remnant of black. Black is always useful for all sorts of things. Oh! Oh gosh, there's probably two or three yards of this black with a tiny, tiny polka dot. It is a cotton. Perfect. There is this fabric. This is kind of an interesting print. Um, 
has sort of, I don't know, it feels kind of Native American to me in some sense. That has all these flowers, and paisley prints and things. I think that looks really pretty. Alright, so I got, this is probably two yards if not three yards of this beautiful autumn-y leaf print. I'm thinking shirt dress because I like shirt dresses. So this one actually has the label on it. It was, okay, so let's just put this in perspective. This is 0.67 yards for $7 of this jersey print. The entire bag that came with this was $5. So just keep that in mind when you're like, boy, you have all this fabric. Um, so anyways, it's just adorable. Oh, it's a jersey print and it's got all these little cute animals on it. Look at that. I'm totally making something for my nephew Grant with this. A, a little, um, a little uh, shirt or something. Oh, he'll love this. It is so cute. So cute. And I might have enough here that I could do matchy-matchy so I could do... Uh, something for Grant and then something for Layla. So that'd be super cute. Oh, that's adorable. They're going to love that. All right, so there's that. And then, oh, there's some more like baby prints here. Is this a flannel or a fleece? It's a fleece with a monkey holding hearts and cupcakes and stuff. It's a cute print. This is a cute print. This is about about a yard, maybe a little more than a yard of fabric. And then the last one is a cotton. That one was a, a flannel. This one's a cotton. And this one has more zoo creatures. So it's got elephants and uh, monkeys and giraffes. It's kind of cute. I don't know what, what I'll do with it. Oh, look, and another at least a half a yard of that um, leaf fabric. So I've got a good amount of that leaf fabric. Definitely shirt dress, I think. So I've got a remnant of this pink floral here. You can see this pile is just piling up here. I got a magenta remnant. I really like this. This is obviously vintage fabric. This is, you don't see this print. I really like that. I don't know what I'll do with it. It's it's like, it's like screaming to be used in something as a as a as a staple inside there. There's some more remnant. This fabric, there's a quite a bit of. There is at least at least a yard. No, there's definitely two yards here of this fabric, and it's a dusty rose. Kind of looks like it's been tie dyed in its own like a shade darker, but it's just kind of the same color. Um, that's pretty nice. I don't know what to do with it. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that! That's also very vintage. I don't know. It looks... almost makes itself look like beading. Hmm... Maybe this as the shell of a top and then do like a contrasting collar or something. There is about... About a yard of this, but I want to say it's been cut, so it's it's small pieces. Um, but this uh, pink with magenta roses. And then I've got some of this color here. Again, some of these would be really good for bags, pockets, um, contrast, necessarily cutch wallets. All my sisters always get a purse. Whether they want it or not, they're getting it. i got to get rid of this fabric somehow. All right, some more khakis. Now, of course, I got these bags at, this was the last place we stopped at. So, um, I got some more khaki fabric in this bag here. Um, and some varying, this whole bag was like khakis, but different varying variations. This one's got sort of a striping to it. It's not a print striping, it's actually part of the weave, which is interesting. And then I've got some uh, canvas in some ivory and a little bit of canvas in white. Again, these are great for bags or for lining aprons. I this is super nice. This is another one of those, I feel like it's got 
some sheen to it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I almost, I almost feel like it needs to be a bag because there's not enough here, but it would, it would make a beautiful bag or clutch wallet or something. Oh yeah. This one. Ooh, that is pretty. Here's some vintage printing and I love it too. There's a good amount. There's about a yard here. So it could be a, a top. I don't know. It's like fruit. It's like apples and pears and grapes. I don't know if you can see all that, but it's just, I don't know. It's just very mid-century, kind of 60s like kitsch. I think it'd be a nice top. I think it'd be a nice top. Maybe a shift top. I don't think there's enough for a dress. So I have a remnant of this fabric here. Again, this might make a really nice purse. I actually, one of my sisters likes purple. I think this would be nice for her. She, she, she'd like that. I've got a remnant of this blue. Again, these would make really nice purse items. Another blue remnant. And then another little remnant of the pink Dusty Rose, which I actually picked up some Dusty Rose from another booth. So, um, mm, that might be the same color. Ooh, this little guy. Must miss this. Another one that has an interesting look to it. It's purple with some interesting colors there. Okay, so this, this bag was meant to be a quilt because obviously somebody has already cut out all these slices. And so there are slices of this daisy print. There are slices of this polka dot print. There are slices of this other flower print. This flower print's awfully pretty, I think. And then a whole lot of slices of this sort of gray print. And um, I got a ton of these slices. So I'm not going to do a quilt. That's just not happening. <laughs> but I might, I might be able to uh, fit together some of these slices to make, oh, there's also some musical notes. Look at that. I might be able to put some of these slices together to make a blouse. So like uh, these these polka dot ones, there's also some big pieces here. So I might be able to make a blouse that has maybe a yoke piece and then a collar piece and some other pieces and, um, and work with the smaller slices. So that may be an option. So I'm gonna attempt to do that. I think that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. It'll be creative but Oh, I got a little remnant of this border print here. Um, how much is there? Um, not a whole lot. But it would work with any color. I actually have some maroon fabric this color. So this would actually be an interesting mix and match with the maroon. That might be a thought. Alright, so I have about a yard of this sort of leafy clover. It looks like a clover print. So I have about a yard of this. Make a good little top lid or something. And then I have some solid black, which is always good for lighting or contrast. And then I have about about a yard of this white here with the white flowers. That would be that would be super nice as well um, as a top or something. Three bags left. We're almost there. So I've got so how much of this do I have? Ooh, this is a pretty good amount. Yay! So I have about two yards of this light blue corduroy. Again, I've got some dungarees planned or a skirt because I really like corduroy skirts. So I think they come, they look really nice. This is sort of a denim -y fabric. It's not much here. Maybe a yard. It's navyish blue. Would be good for a lining. It's kind of a canvasy denim -y fabric. Um, a lining of some kind. So I have a darker blue, darker navy blue. Where's the fabric? 
navy blue corduroy and again I have about two yards of that over here so if you have any suggestions I actually have a navy blue almost close to this uh, Delphine skirt that I made a couple of years ago which is still one of my favorite skirts okay, so this fabric I have I'm going to say two yards of this Polynesian inspired blue. It's got um, sort of like uh, Hawaiian islands and, and sailboats and palm trees and this palm Polynesian um, graphic type thing on it. It's got this gold. It's so pretty. This is definitely a summer make. I'm thinking some sort of little play suit or something and I can play with the gold and the black accents on that. So I think that will be really lovely. This fabric I have about Maybe I have two yards. I'm thinking one yard actually. Maybe one yard and one, a little bit more. But it's a pretty floral print. It's got those autumnal colors. Um, this is a linen, linen-y canvas. A light blue. I've got a remnant of this little dark blue piece. I'm tossing all the remnants in this bag box over here. So, um... This one's a fairly large remnant of this uh, sort of paisley style print. Um, oh, this is pretty. This is a sort of periwinkle with little yellow flowers. Again, they're kind of remnants. So um, pockets, contrast, that kind of thing. All right, finally, the last bag. And I left the most lackluster bag for last. <laughs> I didn't go in any particular order, really, so it is what it is. Alright, so this is a linen-y type fabric, is that what it is? Yes, it is a linen-y type fabric, and uh, let me get to the right side of it, and it's this stripe here, can you see that? It's a stripe with... Um, it's a sort of a another khaki color with a stripe. This might make a nice shift dress as well. It's just a it's it's not too heavy weight, but it's a nice soft fabric. Um, it might make a nice dress and worn with a khaki colored blazer. So this one, oh, this is adorable. How much do I have here? Do I have enough of anything? Actually, I might actually have enough to make a little shift dress out of this fun print. If I don't have enough for a shift dress, it's definitely a shift top. Wear it with jeans. <laughs> that is adorable. I'm definitely, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a shift dress or shift top. So, that, my friends, is all of it. All of the fabric. That is a lot of fabric. That is about just as much as the last haul. Um, if Yeah, that's about the same amount as the last haul. And I know, like, you're probably thinking, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to store it all? I, that's my biggest concern. Like, where am I going to store it all? My fabric room is just, like, covered top the ceiling in fabric. And so I've got to, got to, got to really start working at sewing this stuff up. Not that I have a tremendous amount of time. Um, I'm trying to convince my sisters to learn how to sew so I can like, like, here, have some fabric. Um, but, um, yeah. So, again, I have a hard time saying no when the prices are so good and the prints are so adorable and I can use it and eventually will use it at some point in my lifetime. But don't be surprised that 10 years from now, I still have, oh, like, this is that stash from that video that one time, because it, it there's just too much to make all at once. Uh, but I'd love to hear in the comments below if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for any of the fabrics, um, pattern ideas, anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. I've lost track of all time. We're in, like, some infinite void of fabricness. Hope you haven't fallen asleep. If you have, then hopefully it's been a good nap. <laughs>